That time, Mike Tyson blew $600 million. $600 million? Despite earning $600 million over the course of six years, Mike Tyson celebrated his 36th birthday with a bank account reading zero. Jesus. So how did Mike Tyson go Jesus. bankrupt? Well, Tyson made it clear that a financial education wasn't a part of his childhood. From a broke background, I never really learned the art of handling money as a kid. Which became a problem as fight. he began to earn millions whilst he was still a teenager. After becoming champion at the age of only 20, Mike Tyson began to average 7.5 million Jeez, per fight, man. and this didn't even include his other sources of income. He was paid over 50 million in casino deals, 3.5 million for a WrestleMania guest appearance. Yep. Yeah. Huh? Yep. Just, just, to to, show. just to show up? Yep. The, bro. While Mike Tyson's Punch-Out sold 2 million copies during its very first year. By 1990, Mike Tyson Damn. was credited as the highest paid athlete in the world, with an Imagine estimated 28.6 million in income oh this God. year. Although all of this changed when he was sent to prison only two years later. Between 1992 and his release in 1995, Mike Tyson was unable to earn a single dollar. Although as summarized by That's this okay. CBS article, That's he not... wasn't exactly struggling when he finally he walked free. Most all. Indiana prisoners are given $75 in spending money to ease their transition back into society. <laughs> need Tyson needed no such help. The former heavyweight champion had two checks, each made out to him for $10 million. Damn. In the next few weeks, Tyson would get another $12 million for the rights to future fights and television. A few months later, he earned the most money ever given to a boxer, $25 million, to fight a stiff named Peter McNeely. Over the next- To fight a no-name, he was Damn. given $25 Damn. Million. Damn. Walked out of prison bank with a bank in his hand. Bank roll. Said, Oh, he's getting this gonna be the hottest thing in boxing. Oh, money, 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 money. Two years, Tyson earned a further 140 million from five different fights, making him feel invincible. Money is a false sense of security. False sense of security. Nothing about it could be a he's real invincible with money. Dude, I can, I can understand it. Die. Which, when combined with a bitterness from his time spent in prison, caused Tyson to begin spending everything. So what did he went to prison for? What did he go to prison for? I what, forgot. What did he? What, I'm a monster. I'm a monster. <laughs> that nigga's terrifying. That's the scariest man on earth. And he just beat the hell out of uh, somebody on the. Uh, oh, it was the grape. It was grape, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sexual. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Type shit. Oh, kill for me being poor, never having anything. For me being bitter, angry for being in prison. It stems from a lot of things. Firstly, there were the cars. According to CBS, Tyson reportedly bought 110 cars either God for himself or his gifts. One of which being a $320,000 Bentley Azua, the most expensive Man. production car in the world. Tyson bought it and ordered four more. In the space of a few minutes, he had spent more than $1.5 million, while in a different instance... I just need a rich friend, bro. Bro, it's like... I just need one rich just friend. One, bro. This is one. It's like... Cause like we watch Mr. Beast. You don't got two point five on me. All the nigga me. I feel like I ain't gonna lie to you, Jack. I feel like with two point five million dollars, I can change my life. <laughs> I, I can change. Ten. I mean, Ten. With two point five million, nigga, look, <laughs> <laughs> look here, baby, man, bro. Tyson showed up at a car dealership just outside New York to buy another car. He bought a Ferrari for $300,000, declining a test drive because wow. he already had one just like wow. it. On a different day, Tyson was pulled over whilst driving his Rolls Royce without a license, but was able to get out of trouble by giving the car to the cop. You know, sir. Nigga, what? Imagine. Imagine. Boy, I'm pulling every rich nigga over. What? Look, man, you you, baby, where you get the Rolls Royce? I pulled over Mike Tyson today. He gave it to me. Just give me the call. I'll take, I'll take no, that. Nobody got to know. Boy, I quit my job that day. I that right up to take Nigga, the I'm Rolls quitting. Rolls. Fuck them niggas. Why would you quit? I'm going to sell, for the insurance I'm gonna sell that bitch for the 300K. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to go from there. Wouldn't the Rolls be worth more than 300K? Oh, nah, Rolls. Use Rolls for like 300K. Get a used rate for like one something. Why don't you just take the car? You know, you deserve it because you've been through, doing <laughs> you a lot of stuff. I didn't want to get arrested. I didn't have license or anything. Right. I didn't want my wife to get in trouble. I said, why don't you just take it? You know, maybe it wasn't that. Bro, Zip, man, appreciate you subscribing. Wait, he, had, he was married at one point in time? Mm -hmm. Damn. He was married to Robin, at the time, uh, and they something. took wow. it. This didn't end well for the officer. He got fired. <laughs> he did? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> he 
Super Bowl game. All right, with a Rolls Royce. Bro, that nigga Fuck. laugh. That nigga laugh hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Two hundred thirty at the time, and they took wow. it. Wow! This wait, wait. just take it, you know. It wasn't. It was around two hundred thirty. Oh, it was worth two thirty, and they took wow. it. Wow! This didn't end well for the officer. He got fired. <laughs> he did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he say. He say. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Although it did end well for Tyson's <laughs> friend Ed Lover, who was given a Bentley so he could drive home from a club. He goes, here, take the car. I'm like, okay. He gives me the Bentley. A month go by, I still have this car. He said, I wanted you to have that car. He said, I gave you that car. With so many Just vehicles, Tyson him. needed somewhere to store them, purchasing mansions in Las Vegas, Ohio, and Maryland. Nigga. However, these Nigga. were nothing compared Nigga. to the house he bought Nigga. in Connecticut. Bro. You, okay, you got so many cars, Man. right? Where am I going to throw my cars? I'm going to give them okay, to my wait, friends. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Where am I going to throw my cars? The normal person would say, I need a garage. I need to pay for... A rental space. I'm I need on. to build a garage. This nigga bought houses. I'm gonna buy several mansions. He I just, want, I just mansions. want, I just want fucking, I just want rich friends, twin. He bought. I just want mansions. one. I want one mega rich friend who like stupid rich. Be like, Aaron, hit two point five million dollar. Go change your life, twin. Change your life, man. Jesus Christ. It featured twenty one bedrooms and thirty five bathrooms, as well as a full. Damn. Blow nightclub, a movie theater, a mini casino, a squash court, and a fully specked out proper commercial gym. But this was only the inside. Outside, there was a full size basketball court, a swimming pool with its own grotto, and get this, its own lake, lake house, and fountain on a 17.6 acre block. If the house looks familiar, it's because Tyson eventually sold it at 50 Cent, who called Man. it his biggest financial mistake. Man. What was the most like when you wasted Man. money? It blew up. Thank you for the two gifted. She yeah, we slowly get in there. It's Tyson Cribs like that. Mainly because of how much the property cost to run. How much was the upkeep a the guesstimate upkeep per was year? About 700000 A year. Tyson expanded on this in a different interview. Uh, it's going to cost me $25,000 just to mow the lawn. <laughs> right? Right. Which, when combined fuck? with his other houses, meant gardening bills alone mounted to $100,000. Oh. Although the gardener was still a minor expense compared to the things Tyson bought for these houses. As a gift for his first wife, Robin Givens, yeah, Robin Mike Givens. spent $2.2 .2 on a Ooh. solid gold bathtub, which was followed Ooh. by their divorce less than a year later, Ooh. which cost Mike a further $10 million in legal fees and compensation. Tyson had also dropped 410000 on a birthday party and 140000 on two white Bengal tigers, which needed their own specialty in clothes. playing with tigers. Bro, this man is playing with the tigers. You ain't never hear the story. I heard the story. They used to beat them tigers to up, see, bro. To see the footage, to hear my go, yeah, I used to fight the tigers. It's one thing. Then you, say, you can laugh. He said one time they thought I was, they thought I was a fool. Oh, you think you was a big bad? And I did. I socked him. I socked him. I socked him. I socked him. I socked him straight in the fucking face. And you did just hear him. You just hear him scream and pain. And I was like, I'm the monster. I'm the alpha. I'm the, I'm the apex predator. Not you. You're mine. I bought you with my money. And I'll beat you to a pulp with these fucking fists, tiger. $200,000 a year worth of food and their own animal trainer, which Mike hired at a cost of $125,000 a year. Man. Mike also had to pay a friend $250,000 in compensation Mike. after they were bitten by one of the tigers, although there was another bite that cost Tyson even more. Jesus During a Christ. match in 1997, oh, yeah. Amanda Holyfield headbutted Tyson, who in retaliation bit a portion of Holyfield's ear off. Tyson was disqualified and fined $3 million, Three although it million. seemed he had hadn't learned his lesson, as he then bite Lennox Lewis's leg during a press conference, warranting another 300. Sick of bit his leg in a press. I told you, I'm a fucking monster. I'm a killer. I'm a murderer. All right, bro. You if, heard you, if you see Mike Tyson on the streets, on the airplane, it's over. or anywhere, and you decide to pick with him, oh no, you're the dummy, bro. I remember it was one dude who uh, forced him to take a picture, and Mike knocked him out of the place. <laughs> bro, <laughs> the kid looked like he was every bit of 18. What did Mike knock that nigga out of? Yeah, do you not remember the plane video from last year or two years ago? Whatever it what? was. It's a video that the dude kept messing with him on the plane. He turned around. <laughs> it was very recent. <laughs> and I was like, I nigga, within I nigga, the last two I years. I think a bike knocked the kid out of the... <laughs> that nigga's you like, he kept touching me. I, I'm a I'm a picture. Fuck your picture. I'm Mike Tyson. I know. I know the art of war. I'm a killer. I feel like I'm a bitch. 
That nigga, I used to, I used to, I used to nigga, be that, I'll never forget that nigga. That nigga, bro, that nigga's going through an existential crisis. He got to. That bro. nigga, that nigga, Mike Tyson said. <laughs> I make love to you. You're <laughs> falling in love with me. I was like, I'll make you love me. Oh, he's yeah. He dropped the album. I'll make you love me. I was like, yo, yo. I was like, dude, that's not okay. Like even in the '90s, that's not okay, bro. <laughs> like, dude, chill. Thirty-five thousand dollars. You're not supposed to say In the say process, that. Tyson employed over two hundred different people, Jeez, including uh. chefs, chauffeurs, and bodyguards. The most pointless of which being a guy nicknamed Crocodile, whose sole function was to dress in fatigues and repeatedly shout guerrilla warfare <laughs> at Tyson's news conferences, for which he was paid three hundred thousand dollars in. 1996. In another crazy instance, Tyson walked into a club and offered to pay for everybody's drinks all night. I never forget Tyson. There's a story. Tyson beat the hell out of somebody in the bathroom. <laughs> and I was, it was a rapper. He brought. He said, "Let's go to the bathroom." And he beat the shit out of the rapper. Like same. I see why people being people entourage. Because man. Facts. Mike calls me over again. Ed, come here. I go, what's up, Mike? Tell the DJ I got the bar until the club closed. I said, what are you talking about? I'm buying the, the bar out. Everybody bar. can have whatever they want. However, the there was one bar. final expense that was higher than any other. Tax. Do you regret anything? Yeah, and I didn't pay taxes really. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get you. Yeah. <laughs> it was revealed in 2003 that Tyson owed $13.4 million to the IRS, $117,000 to five different states, as well as $4 million to British tax authorities, and things only got worse worse from here. Turns out most of Mike's luxury purchases were being made on credit, and as a result he also owed $27 million to various different businesses, including $600,000 to a legal company, $500,000 to his finance manager, and $800,000 to a former trainer, all of which were stacked on top of a second divorce. Tyson owes money to at least 246 creditors, including the Internal Revenue Service, the Screen Actors Guild, and dozens of doctors, lawyers, and accountants. Tyson owes his ex-wife Monica Turner almost 9 million from their divorce and he hasn't paid 19.4 million in taxes to the IRS, Great Britain and five states, which was an extra large problem as Tyson was down to his last $1,250 in cash. Tyson38 said all of his houses have been sold or seized and he owns only one car albeit a white Hummer SUV newly purchased and apparently not yet paid for. Imagine being at the top of the mountain boy. Doing all that crazy what? shit, and then you down to your last what? twelve. Hey, Mike, minutes. if you ever see this video, okay, I'm I'm joking, man. I, I need I need this to be understood. I'm a comedian, <laughs> okay. Like this is this is for comedic purposes, okay. Um, I don't want no fucking problem. No with fucking you, problem, okay. This I is, see why you you could you have the right to be angry after yeah, that. Yeah, so like it's it's just Jesus. not us. Like I'm not. I need you to know I ain't I ain't poking fun at you, twin. <laughs> Why you quivering? Cause I'm scared. <laughs> that nigga, that Why nigga, you quivering, boss? that nigga gonna come beat the shit out of me, bro. Jeez. According to bank records Tyson's attorney submitted to the US Bankruptcy Court, Tyson earned $38 during January. His living expenses during that month were more than oh. 407000 Mike Tyson was completely and utterly screwed. However, he devised oh. a plan to get himself out of trouble. Tyson's reorganization plan is ambitious. He hopes to earn at least $19.5 million from boxing over the next three years to help satisfy his creditors, although this isn't what would happen. Not In fact, all, he'd lose bro. both of his next two professional Ooh. fights before retiring from boxing and filing for bankruptcy. Oh, man, At the time he'd sucks. state, my whole life has been a waste. I've Whoa. been a failure. Yep. I just want to escape. Hit. I'm really embarrassed with myself and my life. I want to be a missionary. I think I could do that while keeping my dignity without letting people know they chase me out of the country. I want to get this part of my life over as soon as possible. In this country, nothing good is going to come of me. Jesus. I'm so stigmatized there is no way I can elevate myself. Yeah. I'll never be happy. I believe I'll die alone. I would want it that way. I've been a loner all my life with my secrets and my pain. I'm really lost, but I'm trying to find myself. I'm a really sad, pathetic case. Jesus. With nothing else to do, Mike spent his days caring for 350 unique pigeons, a collection hell? which prior to bankruptcy, he'd paid $400,000 for. He'd later liken his spending habits to a drug addiction. It's like the drugs. You might as well say you have it all, but it's still that empty hole that you're trying to fulfill. You spend as much as you can to try to get that satisfaction, fulfill that hole that just is is bottomless. However, Tyson's life wasn't finished yet. Losing everything had taught Tyson a valuable lesson. I know the power of humbleness. What's up, dude?
Cookie. Go on, go ask Uncle Matt for it. That way, go that way. Yes, sir. How did you learn that? I have to lose everything. With humility acting as a baseline for him to rebuild his life, Tyson took the lessons he'd learned and transformed them into At least a he book, was able to whilst come his back. life story was also Jesus. the perfect premise for his own documentary. On top of this, Mike landed a cameo role in both The Hangover 1 and 2, yep, yep. for which he was paid $300,000. Through these various media appearances, Mike was able to rebuy himself a pretty awesome house in Vegas, although he refused to let money dictate his happiness. Anybody that thinks a lot of money is going to make them man. happy, they never had a lot of money. Because it don't make you happy. Yeah, oh no, it's going to make you miserable. You said, well, it can. It can make you hate yourself. Since then, Mike has launched his own extremely yeah, successful. Look. While I understand the point, while I understand the point, a lot of money can't hurt. <laughs> if you know, you know what I'm saying? You learn from Mike's mistakes. Hey, you look, feel me? All I'm saying well, is Pog Pog want a lot of money. Cars called Hot Boxing mm -hmm. and built a net worth of $10 million. Yeah, some, see, some, somebody just sent me 2.5. The internet is a great, you know, a great thing that happened to Mike Tyson. The internet.